Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to bring you a long awaited breeding video with a species I have a love hate relationship, Thrixapelma ocrati. Beautiful, awesome, notorious hair kickers. Now, urticating hairs kind of feel bothersome, like little pinpricks on your skin. However, I have developed a sensitivity to the urticating hairs of this particular species, and it feels like I rolled up in a blanket of fiberglass and took a little snooze. Their hairs drive me absolutely bananas. As soon as I'm done working, I usually go and get directly in the shower Oh, that's a little tip for you, by the way. If you are covered in urticating hairs, go get in a warm shower and slather yourself in thick soap and don't rub it, just let it rinse off of you. That's been one thing that helps me. I don't know if they cling to me more because I'm always really lotion-y because I really like lotion, but they drive me really crazy. So, fingers crossed for a successful breeding tonight and let's just get started. We have our lovely lady with her buxom booty on this side. And the dorky little male. Try to introduce them. Oh, there go the hairs. Oh, yay, yay. Okay, so they're in the same enclosure. I will. This species is very skittish, so you have to encourage them gently. One thing that you can do to try to move them in a particular direction without touching them is just gently create a breeze. And hey, yikes, man. So, he's in the mood, she is not. What I'm gonna do is introduce him to another female and see what happens. So I'm gonna put him back in his little box and put the lid on and then put her lid on and take her out. So she was not ready to breathe for whatever reason. He's going to be teleported into a whole new land. Magically. In which another, he'll meet a new girl. Don't kick hairs. I am your friend. Encourage him to turn around. Watch out. Yeah, okay. Mama's ready. Turn around. Oh, you're smart. <sighs> okay. Whoa. I don't think she's going to eat you if you just go for it. No. Okay. Come on, friend, you can do it. Oh, okay. Look, look, look. She's giving you the green light, homie. Now, it's possible that he's not charged. His pedipalpal oh gosh. Boy, she is ready. 
Um, I thought he was tapping with the other female, but um, maybe that was a false alarm. She is literally offering herself to him and he's not having it. Here's what that says to me. His pedipalpal bulbs probably are not charged, although now that he has been made an offer, I'm assuming that he's gonna go home and think really hard about his life and what he wants in his future and where he's gonna go to college and who his, what his grandchildren's names are gonna be and all that stuff. He's gonna make a sperm web. And hopefully, he's going to do what he needs to do and then when I reintroduce these two, magic will happen. So this was a lot of exciting nothing. Um, maybe good information for those of you who are trying to learn how to breed. Um, yeah, I'm starving. Nothing very exciting happened, but now I definitely think something soon will. I think he's going to do what he needs to do. I'm going to reintroduce them. Well, I'm going to watch him. And if I see a long skinny web laid, that's going to be my sign. I'm going to go ahead and publish this footage and hopefully it'll give you guys some good information and hopefully you'll see a Thrixipelma Ocrity breeding video very soon. I hope you guys liked this one. I am going to go eat dinner, but I've missed you guys so much and I'm happy to be back and I'll see you again very, very soon. Oh, here's a little sneak surprise. Watch this. For those of you who've been paying very close attention, ta -da! Let me know in the comments below if you know what this is and whether or not you'd like to see a video on this little bugger soon. See you guys next time. Ha, ha, ha.